Guys, what is going on? Chad here with you. Mr. Beta FPV slash Flight One. Rob is here with us too. We're rolling right into some videos here from the next one. In case you notice, everything's about the same. So we're gonna talk just about the HX-115 in this video. We're gonna go over almost everything that I can tell you about it after owning it for a couple days and putting about 20 packs through it. Now, if you didn't see the last video, hit the playlist up here. That'll take you through my total toothpick adventures from beginning until whenever it ends. So this was my first flight with the actual Beta FPV 115. And this is what we call a durability test. A couple hundred feet down onto the roof, not a single scratch. This is it right here. This is where you can get it. You can get it fast. You can get it where you can pay me a little bit of commission. There's affiliate links for all this stuff right at the top of the page for the extra props for the frame itself. If you just want to build everything out because Hey, look, they are stocking this frame on kebabs website now because it is the real deal four millimeter stick and it has super low weight they are very impressed as you can see now the reason why this thing flies so great is a bunch of things let's just start from the beginning first of all when you get it you got to do hook it up to your computer, do a diff all, copy and paste that stuff to the notepad. Flash this with 4.1.1 beta flight. Download the JESC configurator. Pay the five bucks to license these things so you can get RPM filtering on this. Then once you do that, we're going to be able to lower the filtering, turn on the RPM filters raise these pits up and make this thing fly just super amazing. Now it's so hard to convene how good something flies on YouTube with DVR and everything else like that. There was a couple months ago, a lot of reviewers had the HD version of this, which you can get on Amazon if you would like. It's about an extra 50 to 60 bucks. The HD video looks okay, but it increases the weight and it kind of takes you out of the classification that kebab fpv bob Rugi is trying to tell us all to get into and the dude's right he's got it going on i always i never really listened to a lot of things that he said i had a the, one of the very first flaw styles i was not impressed with it but and i was skeptical about this whole toothpick stuff when it came out like 10 months ago and then when I got back into flying, I'm like, man, I really want something to spark my mood and my interest that won't blow the bank account apart. And that's where this stuff has come in. So it comes in a nice little box, 3S, 4S, 2S capable. Now it comes with a set of by blades that you run when you're running 4S. That's the HQ 3020s. The 3030s are for 3S and 2S operation. And to stay within the weight limit below 110 grams, you go right here with the 450 HV 3S, and that will allow you to, to come in at about 106 grams on this thing. And with the great beta flight tune and stuff, which I can give you all that stuff, you're gonna be set and ready to go. So again, this thing is built really good. Four millimeter, four millimeter uh, bottom plate. And that is just gonna suck up all of that motor noise, that thick carbon. So that way we can really jack the pids up on this thing and get it flying just fantastic. And my cat, Rob, what are these guys doing? Girls, take it easy. The girls are on fire right now. I don't know. Anyway, this isn't broke. I just uh, put a little bit of tape on there to hold the antenna up so it doesn't get flopped around in my uh, props. 
I got my XM Plus antennas all out there. I ditched the actual uh, Velcro strap and went with rubber bands. It just seems to be the cool hip thing to do. Comes with a cap and everything soldered on there. Uh, XM Plus here in the bottom. Fine button, easily accessible. This has a 200 milliwatt VTX built into it. The camera on it is about the only thing that I think could be improved upon. We'll just have to, it's good enough. It's better than a lot of them. Um, we'll have to wait and see probably in another month or two. I'm sure this, this technology is changing so fast. We'll get a camera that is gonna be probably the same size or something like that with the little Emacs um, that's better quality. I got one of uh, Bob's uh, little tiny whoop cameras there, but uh, I'm not gonna touch this thing because it's just great. I love it. It's beautiful. Rob even bought one and he didn't even use an affiliate link. He was so excited to just buy it, uh, probably because they all run it in limited stock and GNB batteries um, are out of stock now too on Amazon. Everybody's just going crazy for this stuff right now. So you just gotta get it when you can, get in line. Um, I've got links for all that stuff there. And I've also got a link for just the frame if you don't wanna get it on FPV cycle, if you've got Amazon gift cards or whatever, and then you can kind of start building up your own because you can pretty much get everything right off of here and then maybe mix and match a few components if you didn't want to go with the full uh bind and fly but there's really just no reason to um the plugs on here this board you got to remove the plugs if you want to uh, solder your motor wires on there that's about the only downside but man any i don't know i know people are going to be like oh you gotta direct solder those wires you're going to get just it's gonna be fire, man. It's gonna just fly like crazy. And it's like, man, it flies so fast and good right now on the 3S batteries. I don't really care to do anything like that. Like, I don't wanna mess it up. Um, I don't wanna, I know that I can drop it from 150 feet and hit my roof and then fall off and not even bend or scuff up a prop. Uh, so that that's, quality right there that's why i wanted to show that the first time they've really stepped things up uh beta fpb i've never owned any of their products but i heard the horror stories of these things i've seen them of them cracking and everything like that this thing here is a winner and we'll go ahead and just play a little bit more of uh, the flight footage here in case you didn't see the last uh video i tell everybody please go back and look through my flight videos on my channel you will not see me flying like this i get a lot of comments a couple times uh from the same guy that says more flippy floppy like all the time and i try to give you as much flippy floppy as i can here and power loops and everything else uh probably 10 to 15 mile per hour wind today it was super cold out and it rained all morning and stuff and I finally got a couple hours to get out and work on this uh, and I was super super excited about it like couldn't wait it was just great you could but this is the actual camera feed itself it honestly looks a little bit better on the TV here unless it's just my eyes Nah, the colors are definitely washed out. That That is very, besides the speed up to simulate the speed, you know, everybody does this on YouTube, you know, just all you gotta do is look at my timer right there. You can see how fast those seconds are cutting down, but it's the only way to like overcome the, the crappy bit rate and time and stuff like that. So that way you can kind of show people what they're actually getting themselves into. And honestly, it still looks a little bit of a little slower, but I've noticed the diminishing uh, returns on uh, Adobe Premiere and stuff like that. So this is all this is what you're going to get if you get this quad. And if you're not going to get this one and you want to build a toothpick three, then definitely get in line for everything. I mean, batteries, everything are out of stock. Don't buy the beta FPV batteries. I didn't link them there. 
I know the GNBs are out of stock, but I still put a link there for people that might be watching this down in the future. The beta FPV batteries just are known not to, to do very well. I don't like the tattoo 450s unless you get the long stick ones. Those seem to work good. The, sh the fat stubby long ones do not work well at all. I'm still waiting on some RDQ batteries. A lot of people talk about those, uh, but I really want to see and get those in my hands and try them first uh, before I recommend them. Uh, you know, I don't make no money off of any of this stuff. I just want to make sure that everybody is getting good stuff and having a good time. <laughs> you're having a good time. I'm having a good time that you're here. So anyway, I hope that I have, uh, you know, convinced at least a couple of you to try something like this out, whether it be this quad here or something else in this range. I want to wait until I'll probably release like some kind of pit videos or something. If people really do buy this real quick and I'll just give everybody the pids and show you the complete setup and all that. But I got a sneaky suspicion that these pids are going to work with any comparable toothpick three build because really it just comes down to how much noise the frame can handle, how smooth the motors are and uh, the weight and the power ratio and i think that i've got everything pretty locked on with uh, this one here now um, my two and a half inch ones are exactly the same and fly perfect so we will see you guys on the next video thanks a lot later now we're done now we're done.